G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And this week I'm going to kick off with a little bottle of wine. A little one? Yeah, a little one. This is the Henschke Kindness State Euphonium. Uh, look, there's a big history about why the Euphonium. Let's just say g'day to Peter Kosh at uh, Barossa Music. He knows all about the Euphonium and so do the guys at Henschke. But more importantly, the guys at Henschke know all about wine. This is a biodynamic wine. Whether or not that definitely means that it's a much better wine if they hadn't grown it by down biodynamically, I'm not really sure. All I know is what's inside this bottle is beautiful. Mostly Shiraz, bits of Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc in there as well. It's beautiful, bold wine, right up front, lots and lots of flavour, beautiful tannins, soft through the finish. This is gorgeous, and in the half bottle, kind of mid to high 20s, and look, the big bottle of this is well over the $40 mark, so it's reasonable buying. You might find it out at restaurants because, look, that's a really good option. One glass each out of a little bottle, beautiful. You know, you can move on to something else and keep going with kind of matching things through your dinner. Look, this one, a little ripper, and as I say, half bottle, that's a beauty. Full bottle, it's another beauty, and Henschke, they sure know what they're doing with red wine. Yeah, Henschke do. And look, a little tip here, um, once you're done, if you're having this at home, don't throw away these little bottles, because they can come in handy. Because if you've bought a big bottle, don't and you don't finish it on the night, keep it, pour it into this, whack it in the fridge, and it will actually stay fresher for a few days longer. So if you don't finish a bottle, this is a way to uh, make sure that you can get the your value for money. Yeah, a lovely little tip for a lovely little wine. Mm. Now, speaking of uh, good tips, we're talking bargain territory now, and this is the Gramps Cab Merlot. Now, Gramps, uh, it's Orlando Gramps, and as many people would know, a lot of the Orlando range was rebranded Jacobs Creek, so it can get a little confusing, but all you need to look out for here is the big letters Gramps, because that's the one that will show you that this is a really good value wine. Now, there's also, they do a Shiraz, they do a Grenache under the Gramps label, all really good value at around the sort of $15 mark. Um, uh, a little bit higher in some places, but if you look around and you're pretty uh, pretty astute, then you can pick it up for around 15 bucks. Um, look, the Cab Merlot, a really nice, uh, soft style sort of drink now type wine. The Merlot um, really complements the Cabernet and just kind of softens it out a little bit. Um, will reward a couple of years cellaring. It's certainly not one of those long termers, but um, but look, uh, this is one of those quaffers that uh, it pops up regularly on our shopping list. So Gramps, Cab Merlot, really worth the, the few dollars. Yes. Now, last but by no means least, we're going to have a look at a Taylor's wine. This is Taylor's from the Clare Valley in South Australia, not Taylor's from Portugal. This is part of the Jarriman range, and the Jarriman range are multi-regional blends, picking two different regions that are really perfect for a, uh, a wine, and in this case, the Riesling picking Clare Valley and Eden Valley. Yeah. Now, when I try and decide where my favourite place in Australia is for a Riesling, I really struggle to decide between these two. So it's great that Taylor's have thrown the pair of them into a bottle and it really blends really nicely. This, you know, the, uh, the Eden Valley components, the beautiful kind of steeliness or steerness, that kind of tight, really, really tight finish, added to the kind of fleshiness, the suppleness, the real kind of peachy sort of notes that you get from Clare Valley, two of them in the bottle, beautiful, you know, kind of lemony, limey, up front, fleshy, full bodied, and as I say, a beautiful, strong, tight finish on it, great, low 20s of this, and look, there are others in the Jarriman range that are definitely worth a look at, this though, definitely have a go. Yeah, it's great to see Taylor's continuing with the Jarriman, picking those best parcels of fruit from that, and their Shiraz and the, the Cabernet are also really good to look out for as well. They definitely are. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. Remember, you can be in the running to win one of those two sets of the best dozen of 2009. Oh, and there are some ripping wines in there, because we picked them. So, uh, <laughs> look, if you don't uh, subscribe already via email or follow us on Twitter, then make sure you get on now, because uh, your time's running out. Yes, and if you're one of the new people that's only just found us through iTunes, and thanks to Apple Australia for giving us a bit <laughs> of promo, make sure you hit the website, wineweek.com.au, to find out how you can win loads and loads of good bloody good wine. Mm, I wish I could win it, but sadly we can't. No, we're going to give it away to you guys instead. Anyhow, that's it for this week. We'll see you all next week. See you next week.